How's it going everybody? My name is Merlin and welcome back to Dust 2 Project Episode 5. Today is B-Site. We're going to do a whole lot in B-Site. We're going to texture B-Site, we're going to add stuff to B-Site, and I will add, probably add, in the bomb system today. This bomb system right here, this bomb system, if you have not been acquainted with the bomb system, this is the bomb system, a 30 second plant, and a 10 second diffuse. I would make it 5 seconds if you're holding a specific item, but I'm not exactly sure how to do that, and it is all run by two harbor clocks, one of which cancels it out. I've already explained how the bomb system works, so if you want to go see it in depth, please go back to episode 1 and watch that. Instead, today we're going to skip ahead a little bit, come over here, and we're going to to focus and watch me build B site. Now, over here is a car and some barricades, and also we'll be back here to uh, a bit later. I just wanted to move ahead a little bit. Uh, there is a thing here, and there's a little step up here. We will be doing this part. This is a Yigamo Chatel's part that I, I well I've pretty much decided that is a Yigamo Chatel's part. So that'll be on my own accord, and then everywhere else will be what I see fit. So running with the always theme of what everything needs to be, it needs to be lined in this sandstone block that has the little bit of a tip on top. This little tip here, everything is always lined by this, and then everything underneath of it is the normal blank sandstone. But you've seen me texture something like this a hundred times, so I'm going to cut, and I'll be right back when all the walls are finished and done, because you've seen me do this way too many times. Alright, so I just took a second here, added in the bee and the plant, well, base, pretty much, and then over here, need to actually add in the bee that goes here, which I feel like I've already messed up because it was a bit too this way, yeah, it was a bit too this way. That makes a whole lot of sense, but it was a bit too this way. Go like this, go like that, go like this, and this is an uneven B, that's a C. Or D. Oops. Um, let's just get rid of that really quick. Go like this. Fix that. Look at that. Quality B. Hold on. Quality B. That's a, that's a good B. And then we just fill it back in with sandstone, which is the wrong type of sandstone. We need... Well, the sandstone that I don't have. But anyway, now is the floor. And the floor is as follows it's sandstone and sand which you've already seen me do before so you know fill this in come back and then we'll actually do this sort of stuff the boxes which do need to be textured and then yes uh and then i'll do the chiseled things and then not 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 here not here yet because i want to focus on there before getting to there and we'll add in the little bit of fence gate here or not the hummer i'll do both hummers in one episode which is a hummer here and a hummer over there and then the sort of arch things that happen here anyway i'll be right back time for the ground so i've been sat here for about a minute looking at these blocks figuring what would go here nicely and i'm thinking and i'm thinking and well it's not this one this one has sparkles and then there's this one, but I don't know if it'd match that well, so I got rid of it. It was down between these two, and I said, well, what sort of looks closer? And then I said, this one looks too bright. So, we're going with this one. So, now we have the platform to do. This entire platform is going to be made out of this one material, and on the sides, it's sandstone. Everything is sandstone, and if you think anything else is going to be sandstone, you're sadly mistaken. This is... A slightly different material than what is the actual texture. Usually, I can get the textures pretty close on the block, you know, because there's a whole lot of options. This one, there's not a whole big, giant sort of option for these blocks. There's plenty of them that all sort of look like bricks, but uh, what it looks like in-game is sort of like a very long brick. It looks like one long section, a very long section that sort of is there like hold on i'll give you an example so see okay let's fix that and that and then i'll give you an example okay so you see this block right here right it goes across and then there's this line right so there'd be this line and then this one going up and then this be this one this part would be blank and then it would have these two little things here well the material i need is sort of just a cross but going this way so there'd be one straight line going across this way back and forth back and forth with the occasional break going up but uh, it doesn't seem like there is much of that in the pack it just sort of seems 
Like, it's a variation on the same things over and over again, which I can understand. Uh, a lot of people probably wouldn't be like, oh, yeah, they we're thinking of a new block, Jim. Uh, or I'm, I'm thinking of <laughs> Jim. I was going to do one of those, like, business presentations, like, Terry, you're hired. Um, no. Um... People wouldn't think to have some sort of big, big, sort of flashy block, I suppose. Are these the same? Yeah, those are the same. I need one of you. No, I need one of you. Uh, a big, flashy block that sort of serves the same purpose, and then I don't even need you. I need sandstone. No, sandstone. I need the double-sided ones. These. There you go. Boop, boop. Bink, bink. And nope, nope wrong thank you there you go there you go so yeah it's sort of a hard thing to understand in a sense and also looking at the screenshots looking at the screenshots there's a a red barrel a red barrel here so what i like to use is the bedrock bedrockium and we're going to find a red barrel although it's a bit hard i feel like this this uh yeah, there you go, red barrel. Now we'll go grab the blue and green barrel that we used before, because those ones have never failed us. They're amazing. I switched them out for gelled ones and this liquid XP one in the liquid in the uh, bedrock drum because the bedrock drum makes the texture of them a little bit darker, and that's what I'm really looking for is a sort of darker tone. So this one sort of goes back here. Then there's a blue one and a red one. There you go. Look at that. Barrels. All right. Next order of business is the hole in the wall here. This is more Yigamo Chatel stuff. So I'll be right back when this is done and I will show you the finished product because again, Yigamo Chatel stuff is Yigamo pain in my butt. That wasn't even a funny joke, but Yigamo pain in my butt. There you go. Okay. Next, uh, next clip. Go. All right. So now we're moving on to doing all of the other stuff in the area, which is boxes and such. And what I figured out is these boxes are also good material because we use them way down there but the flans box is a very very good material and it has a connection or a, 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 not a connecting texture or a repeating texture so it is very good for stuff and plus it doesn't use it if you click on it you don't actually use it so it's good it's safe except if you place it down like that then it gets used which we're not going to have because they're in the carpenter box so everything is good 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 Okay, now I want to see if we can find, like, a white piece of wood. Like, I know there's white wood out a little bit, so we might have to fly and go get it if I just can't find it. I don't remember the name of it. So, that goes down there, right? That goes there. And then the same material here, here, and pretty much here are the same material. So, I'm just going to grab this oak. It seems like this oak comes in handy. It pulls through because this oak, I have used this oak so much in so much things because it just fits everywhere. It's sort of the texture, or it's a it's a, a very close texture to a lot of things. So, pretty much, that's just going to be this. This is also something white. Uh, I feel like I forgot to texture these like that. Oh, uh, da 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 forgot to texture that too where is the smooth one right there all right so then grab these texture all this like that that and that and then texture these like that that and that right there and then the white wood would go there and climb 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 and then you know we'll have to fix this part but you know climb 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 drop down on the bomb and i feel like in the game i'm going to tell everybody if you are defusing the bomb please like if you have to fire like er that's gonna be hard with the lever i wish there was something you had to physically hold down right so if Hmm. You know what? You know what might work? Is a pressure plate, right? A pressure plate. You have a pressure plate. You're on the pressure plate. And if you are off of the pressure plate, wait, this would make it go. No, if it's not going when no one's on it and then it turns on so it starts going and then you get off, it would stop. I feel like a pressure plate would be a lot better than levers because if you go off, like, I, I, I make the rule if you're fighting someone, step off because you can't defuse actually like that in game. Like, I, I don't know where the rules would have to be drawn at for a lot of stuff. Maybe that'll be more of a thought later in the process, later when it's almost 
fully finished instead of what it is now, which is a filled, fill like twenty four, a fill twenty five chunk of the map, not done. Um, but yeah, maybe pressure plates would be a lot better than that. But I'm gonna go make a run to get those white trees, and then I will be right back to keep working on the boxes. Wait, wait, wait. Whoa, my mouse just freaked out there for a second. Bam, okay, boxes, okay, white wood, go. All right, flying up and drop, we got it. We got what we needed, which is the white material that, uh, yeah, let's do that. Yeah, that looks pretty decent. All right, and then these are also the white material. This back here is the boxes. This is a lighter different box. This is a, this is the same material as, oops, this is the same material as that material. Actually, yeah, let's add a little bit of height to this. Uh, this is the same material as this material. It is just birch. As you can see, there will be a subtle difference, a small difference. This block, very, again, you know, same material. Always the same material because a lot of things were sort of borrowing, I guess, the same texture, I suppose. I'm not really sure. And then this is the white. And then over here, more of this. Boink, boink, oop. I was pressing space. Boink, 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 boink. A boink, boink, a boink, boink. And then boxes. Boxes go up here. And do 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 do. There is a jump you could do from car that would be about here. A car to the ladder, and then you can get up. Uh, let's just maybe like that, and then we can go like this, and then attach that. So you can't really see them, but car would be like here ish. And there's a skill jump you could do to get up here and watch people come through so you can help your team. So yeah, and you can't, can you get up like that? You can. Hmm. Ooh, I wonder how I would end up blocking people from doing that. Hmm. Actually, you know what? I think I know how. Collapse. Collapsible blocks. Take some collapsible blocks in this area so you can't jump. Then one, two, one, two, one, two. No, just one. Let's see what one does. So one, 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 one. So if you're one, no, you can still go two, 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 two. Can you go? You can. So I feel like if it's your head touching, so maybe like one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, two, one, two. Can you get up? No. Three. Can you get up? I, I, I want to test everything. I don't want this, like, hole in the ground, but I want to be able to, like, a skill jump. Okay, you can get up at three. Yeah, you can get up at three. You know what? We might just end up relying on Scout's Honor. You know, Scout's Honor, like, hey, if you want to make this jump, you know, please try and common courtesy to this, or maybe I won't care. Maybe no one will play this as a serious competitive thing. As I... I've stated before, I think the stud tech group is going to play this just a sort of little deathmatch thing, so I'm not going to be worried with a lot of stuff. I just want to keep including uh, smaller things for people that actually are going to play like a competitive round or something of the sort because you still want the skill to be there. You still want the people who know how to do stuff to get to stuff, although it's harder in Minecraft because ladders. And like, I don't see a rope. Wait, is there a rope? Rope? There's a small rope, but that's a deco craft rope. That's a rocket, that's a rocket, that's a rope ladder. Okay, rope, can you do stuff? Can you climb these? No, they're just, they're just there. Okay, so that makes them useless. That makes them useless to me, because you can't climb them. And yes, so, hmm, figuring out how ladder. Is there a really thin ladder? No, that's a rusty ladder. That's 3D, that won't be any good. That's a, that's a tree. That's a tree. That's not even a ladder. That's a tree. Jade the ladder. Maybe? Okay, that's just a trap door. That's just a trap door. Uh, okay. Hmm. That'll have to be something I figure out later. For now, I think it's pretty decent with how it is. It just needs to be a scout's honor sort of thing in the stud tech playthrough. Because jumping and, and, skill, and skill jumps. Yeah, so 
Also, right here, there is the same thing that we did over here. I was trying to zoom in, but it wasn't even going to show. Uh, these, this little line, what did I make this out of? Sandstone posts? Easy. Okay, let's grab these, come back here. There is a line you sort of hit with these. There's a line that goes straight across, and I'm going to do that line. So this one goes like this, right? Straight across the whole thing, straight across, sort of like this. And then we're going to dye it gray because that is what the color of this area is i hope it doesn't stick out too much and be too much of a weird annoyance that's my hope at least i don't want it to look weird i don't want it to feel weird that is the last thing i want like that and then fill in these like that yep hmm does that already feel weird to you okay yellow let's just grab yellow and let's just grab gray 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 and you know what let's hold on let's grab these let's grab one of these let's grab a crafting bench and see if we can just make it smaller yeah a strip can we go smaller than a strip no okay we'll use a strip that is all I need. I need a small little divider that says, hey, there might have been a road here because there's a, you know, a Hummer going through most of the time. And that's all I want. That's all I need. Instead of these giant bulky things, I w and it doesn't make, it doesn't feel like it makes that much of a difference walking over it. It's a small bump, but it's better compared to this bump. This is a very big bump. I don't want it here. And I feel like it might mess something up with someone's running. These small ones, I, I think, might have less of a chance, if I remember correctly. Just running over them normally, I always had problems with the big ones. Maybe these small ones would be a lot better. Okay, so then, now we die, we die, we die, we die. And then, hopefully, and pray that everything will go fine and dandy, and we can learn some stuff, and we should have done this in one block. Yeah, we should have done this in one block. Hammer. Hammer, 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 hammer. Grab the hammer. Break, 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 break. I'm going to do the road and I'll be right back. Alright, so now I'm under the bomb system, or I'm under the bomb lights, and you have already seen me build the bomb system. Uh, go to Stud Tech Episode 1, or uh, Dust 2 Project Episode 1, for the explanation on how the bomb system works, and go to the Stud Tech Episode called A Site Complete for the building of it, if you want to know how to build it. But that is it for this episode. I'm going to build this off camera because, again, you've already seen it, and we've done a lot of progress here. We need to do this and stuff in here and fix this area up so it doesn't look so barren, and along with mid, but those will be in later episodes. For now, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Leave a like if you want to see more stud tech or anything else, and I will see you in the next video. Remember, stay fancy and peace out. Bye bye.